All right, hello everyone. How you doing? Um, yeah, PHP tutorials. Well, it's a PHP tutorial, and we're going to be using SQL to create a messaging system, just like this one. This is uh, one that I use in my school for a lot of my friends. Uh, if you just want to quickly send a message around, uh, and there's a login. You see, you can send messages, you can delete messages, and etc. etc. Um, now, to, if you, I'm not the best coder. And I know I'm quite young, but I know what I'm doing. Uh, so, and obviously at times I'm going to have to go and do some research. You always, every most coders do. Um, I also have a PHP book right next to me, just in case I need to use it, which I won't. I hope. And um, yeah, so this is the example. This is the, I haven't really made a home page for it, but most people just go to here and they click log in. Uh, you can sign up, uh, and I will make a home page. I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? If they try to, let me just restart my web browser and go to ch go to the website again. If they try to go on something like send and then not logged in, it won't send the message. And if they try to like do something, it will just say nope, uh, and it won't work. Basically, uh, actually, I think I may have just found an error in my own code, but that's not the point, is it? But it's a system that works. I'll log into my own. I'm logged in. There's no design. I am not a designer at all, and I can't design for shit. And I want to put some tunes on while I'm here. And you won't be able to hear the music, I'm afraid, because I've turned stereo. I've turned. Yeah, tur turned. Turn. Yeah, I don't care. I, I see. I've made it so you can't hear the music. Uh, mm. Hopefully, you won't be able to hear it. So that should keep me going for a little while. It gives me a little bit of buzz, but. If I send some new message, uh, hello, Liam A, a message, hey there, broski, broskid, and uh, there you go, uh, it also says what time I received the message when it was sent, that's server time by the way, so we've got server time and the date, in, in UK format, uh, I'm just going to delete that message, and delete this message too. There we go, I have no messages. So let's come out of that. That's on 000 web host. First things we're going to need to get is WAMP. So just Google WAMP. Uh, what the fuck is this? Don't load. Uh, WAMP is here. And you want to download. And then you get. Uh, well, depending on your. On your like version, I'd say. Uh, this these One of these. They're both the same. Except this is another one. Okay, you want right. So there's either this one or this one you want to get. This one's 64 bit. That's 32. Get whatever which one of these is best for you. I've already got one installed. So once you've installed it, that's all you really need. Um, now there's a few few programs you can use. You can use Notepad plus plus. You can use Dreamweaver. Um, yeah, well, this this is right now actually. I'm just going to update it. Just, uh, just gonna update it as well. I didn't make a new file today at school. Do I wish to get the entire site? Yes, I do. Uh, yes to all. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Now, what I want to do before we start uh, is go to connect. Where is this? Nope. Uh, I'm going to do exit so it doesn't do any more code. Save and then re upload. Wait a moment, I'm getting a few messages on my other side. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to upload. Now, I might use Dreamweaver because I like this little FTP function they have, and it's really helpful to be honest. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to go register it. Actually, no, I'm going to make it a WAMP. So, let's close this. Let's uh, minimize this. Let's manage sites. Let's. Uh, that's new site. And the site name is uh, message messaging. Can't spell for shit. Uh, and then we're going to browse to the WAMP folder. Now, if you don't know where you installed it, then you are very silly. But mine is in the C directory WAMP www. Open that, select. There we go. Servers none because we don't want an FTP on. Save. Done. What the fuck is this? Uh, chicken message. 
I've got a message on Skype, how cool. Nope, no, no time for TTT, bro. Okay, I swear to God, if these are the... Oh, right, it's my encryption. We can delete these. I don't know what this is. Oh, oh shit. Um, my work in progress game. I probably shouldn't have deleted them. That's okay. Right, so we have our website. Let's create a new file. I'm going to call it connect.php. Okay. So this is inside the WAMP folder, basically. All this here. Actually, maybe I shouldn't use this. Oh well, it's more of the tutorial we're going to use, isn't it? So you need to open you need to open PHP with the PHP tags. So inside these tags, you do PHP. Outside, you do HTML. So let's do. Don't oh, what's the title? I don't know very much HTML, but messaging system title. There you go. That's that. Uh, now. Uh, PHP, this is where we're going to actually start the PHP itself. What we're going to want to do, we're going to be able to want to connect to our WAMP at MySQL database. Uh, so, we need to start WAMP, that's the first thing. Okay, so we have WAMP, and you need to go to localhost, just localhost, ignore my 81, localhost forward slash PHP my admin. You should get to this page, or something like this page anyway. And just ignore me for a moment while I delete this. It's a uh, drop database. Okay. Ignore me. Processing request. Databases. Oh, come on. Huh. Gay. Okay. Let's uh, create a new database and we're going to call it MSG message. Uh, create. I can leave it as whatever it is by default. Click message, and we're going to need two tables. Uh, one is going to be called users. Name, num number of columns will go three. Go. First, so these are different columns we can have. First one is going to be ID. We're going to leave it as integer. It's int, large int, and the default is going to be ten. This is how long the number can be. Uh, and then where it says, um, where is it? Auto increment. We're just going to tick that. So basically, for every user, it will increase by one. That's thus having a different ID. Uh, user name and password. Uh, so we're going to have a variable character. Set the length to 25 is something I'd usually use. Also here, and I'll stick this to 50 because we're going to use my, uh, we're going to use MD5 to be able to save the passwords. So that's been created using SQL. Let's refresh. There we go, we've got our users table. Let's create another one. Messages, number of columns. Oh, what do we want? So we want the ID, preferably. ID to from message and date and time. That's five. Go. Now let's make this a little bit bigger. I don't like the size. Oh well, I'll have to do. Just move them around. There we go. So let's uh, let's go with the first one. ID. I'm not sure if we can have a second ID because we've already got a auto increment. Is is AI here? Uh, we'll set it to ten as well. Uh, PM two. You can't just have two and from. I'm afraid. Variable character twenty five. PM from. Actually, we'll set this to PM ID. Actually, PM ID. Variable character. Uh, oh, twenty five again, isn't it? Uh, PM message, set this to variable character. We're going to set it to 150. They're only going to be short messages, it's not going to be massive. And date, time, uh, it's going to be variable character. We'll set it to 50 as well. And save. There we go, we have our two tables done. That was pretty easy. And now we're going to be able to one, connect to the database, which is reasonably easy. Um, so, 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 we're going to have this connect page. On, we're going to include it in every page that when the user is logged in to check they are logged in. And that sounds like a lot, but it's not really. Um, so while I go along, I'm going to explain what it does, and let me just see how long I've been recording so far. Nine minutes is not bad. Forty-four meg, nine minutes. Win. Okay, so 
First of all, database connection. We need to define a new variable called db. As you notice, I start the variable with a dollar sign. And that usually stands for variables. Equals my SQL. Not using my SQL at the moment, I'm afraid. Connect. Open bracket, close bracket. Inside these brackets, we're going to do two speech marks. And we're going to just do local host. Comma. Another amount of speech, another two speech marks. Root. Another one is and just blank. And then, or die. And inside here is going to be the code if it errors out. So, um, could not, oh, oh my, uh, could not connect to the database. My mum is listening to really bad music at the moment. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Okay, and then we're going to do if not database, so um, if we couldn't connect, basically, uh, <coughs> uh, die. As you can see, I didn't use an, a parenthesis because we're still in the if statement. Uh, uh, no, da no database. <laughs> that means there's no such database under the name of, um, of what the details are. So, and we're going to do if not my SQL. God, what is it? Select? Yes, yeah, select db. Yeah, sorry, it's been a while. And the table, what's the table name? Message. It's just called message, isn't it? Like so. And uh, with db. The DB variable. We don't even need. We don't need parentheses. I'm sorry. I'm just confused myself. I'm a bit nervous considering I've never done good enough tutorials before. No database. Base selected. Okay, that's uh, that's the connection code done. Now something else we need to do is called session. Uh, session uh, allows us to store session variables. So session start with uh, two brackets and a semicolon. The semicolon ends the current line of code, so we can have two pieces of code on the same line, like this. Be only because though we've got these, with the only because we've got these these um, semicolons. <coughs> if I ha if I took it away, then it would error out and it wouldn't work. But we don't want this here anyway, so. Now that that's there, we're going to do if is set. The is set uh, function will check if the variable, which I'm going to tell you what it is now, is going to be dollar sign underscore session. Inside here is going to be user. So if is set, if the variable user from the session is set, then um, yeah, if they can continue basically. If they if they they are they're able to continue with whatever they're doing. So we don't want exactly want that. We want to not. We want we want to not it out. I just noticed. Thank you, Dreamweaver, for telling me that I forgot a pr uh, a bracket on the end there. I think that's what the problem is anyway. I don't I don't actually. Um, wait a minute. I'm just trying to see what the problem is. Hmm. Coding thing may not work until you fix this error. Okay, fuck you for not working, you piece of shit. Um, that usually works. Oh. Uh, uh, um. Hmm. So just. No idea why right, I have to look at something else for now then. Save it. Let's go back to chicken message. Look at my connect file. See? Same code. <laughs> hmm. Just trying to see what the difference is. There isn't one. No! I don't care. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's that.
Problem solved. Done. Okay, so all that's working now. Session start. Checking if the variable user from session is defined. Uh, so if it's not defined, sorry. So if it's not defined, then we're going to do echo. If you're not logged in. And we're going to link to a login page. So a href is a HTML link to another page. href uh, login.php. Uh, login? Question mark. Like so. That's it. Oh, and uh, we need to exit the code as well, so it doesn't continue loading anything else. You can use die too, they're both the same. That's it. Uh, what? How long has this been going on for now? Um. Alright, I think I'll end it there, and then I'll, I'll come back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. means a lot. See you next time.